Welcome to Pink Cake Princess. I'm Andrea and today I have another special treat for you guys. I'm going to show you how to make my Princess Anna frozen doll cake. You can also check out Elsa on my channel and other frozen treats for your dessert table. I'm going to use three seven inch round cakes and I'm going to use a small circle cutter and a serrated knife to help me cut out the centers of two of the cakes. On a seven inch round cake board I've placed the other cake that I haven't cut out of and I'm icing it with some buttercream. Now I'm placing one of the cakes on top and icing the top. I'm going to place the third cake on top. I've already carved the third cake to look like the dome of the skirt. You can also bake the cake in a bowl to get the shape or if you want to see how I carve it you can check out my Elsa cake. Now I'm just filling in the gaps with the buttercream and giving the cake a crumb coat. Once it's crumb coated, I'm going to place it in the fridge to set for at least half an hour before I take it out and give it a second coat of buttercream. Then it goes in the fridge for at least another half an hour before decorating. Okay, now here I'm showing you how I emboss my cake board. You can see how to cover a cake board in the tutorial at the end of this video. Okay, now I'm using a little bit of royal icing and lifting up my cake and attaching it onto the cake board. Okay, now onto my fondant. I'm rolling out some dark colored blue fondant. And I'm using my sharp crafts knife to cut it into this particular shape. Now I'm lifting it up off my mat and just placing it onto the cake and lifting it up so it's the right height, cutting off the excess and tucking in the excess fondant at the top into the cake. Smoothing over with my hands and onto my second piece of fondant. Again cutting out a similar shape and placing it onto the cake, gathering the excess fondant at the top, cutting off the excess and tucking the excess fondant into the cake at the top. Smoothing with my hands and trimming the excess at the bottom. Now onto some purple fondant, I'm rolling out a long strip and I'm trimming the edges so that it's straight and I'm using a circle cutter to cut out parts out of the fondant and now I'm using a little bit of water and some tissue just to wet the fondant before I glue it onto the cake. off the excess and gluing with a little bit of water. Now wrapping up my Anna doll with a little bit of cling wrap so that her legs don't get all covered in buttercream. Now I've moved on to some light blue fondant. I've cut out a little strip just to cover her neck and I'm attaching with a little bit of water. Cutting the excess off now cutting out two long strips
and gluing it onto the arms to form her sleeves. Just pressing around and gently in to fit her arms and around the top of the shoulders and the neck. Just gently pressing in where there, where there is a gap and filling up the spaces. Again repeating on the other side. I'm using my brush to help me shape it underneath the arms and cutting any excess off. Just pressing down. Now onto some black fondant. I'm using a little template. Now I'm just wetting the back and then attaching the black portion onto the doll. Gently pressing in and smoothing down. Cutting the excess off with my knife. Okay, now there's a little bit exposed at the back, so I'm just cutting out a tiny portion of blue fondant and gluing it on just to cover that section there. Gently pressing in. Now attaching a little black strip to the shoulders. Okay, now inserting her into the cake. Don't forget to click the like button below if you do like this tutorial and click add to favourites if you want to save it. Okay, now rolling out a long strip of blue fondant and attaching it around where the join of the doll and the cake is. Gently pressing down to shape it. And cutting any excess off at the back. Okay, now onto decorating her dress. I'm using a small blossom cutter just to cut out some red flowers. And I'm rolling out some green fondant. Using my knife to cut it into little strips. Now attaching the stems and the flowers. And the little leaves. I'm cutting all my portions down and then I'm going to attach it all around her dress. Now I'm using an antique gold. This is an edible paint that you can get online or from your cake decorating supply shops. And I'm using it just to paint on the details of her dress. Okay now back to the green. I'm shaping some little shapes just to form the details on the top of her dress. And I'm using a tiny little blossom cutter just to cut out a little flower and sticking it on. Finishing the top off. And I've mixed a little bit of red fondant with a little bit of the dark blue fondant to form this dark maroon colour. If you can't get this colour, you can just use a purple. I'm using a circle cutter to cut out a disc of fondant and I'm using my flower cutter just to create some indents to emboss it. I've cut out two circles and now I'm draping it over her shoulders. Put 
filling in a little detail with a toothpick. And now I've rolled out another portion of the maroon fondant and I'm just going to attach it at the back to form the rest of her cape. Gluing it on with water. And now attaching the shoulder portions. Okay, balling out two tiny little bit of black fondant and just attaching it where her collar is. Now just making a little floating number five, putting it on somewhat wire and letting it set, cutting out the birthday girl's name, now attaching the number onto the doll and placing the candles onto the cake and adding a ribbon around the cake board. Do you like her in her dress like this or do you prefer her in her coronation dress? Comment and let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to click the subscribe button up here, it's free. And if you want to see the Elsa cake and more frozen treats, click Elsa over here. You can also check out how to cover a cake board here and also the Maleficent cake figurine. Click on the pictures to go to the tutorial. Thanks again for watching guys, you guys have a fantastic day.